Hi, I'm Jason Levine, Principal Worldwide Evangelist for Adobe's Video and Audio Tools. And today I'm going to talk to you about some of the new features in Adobe Audition CS6 that allow you to simply edit faster and more efficiently. Now, if you've ever used the Media Browser in Premiere Pro, this is going to look very familiar to you as we've now introduced the Media Browser in Audition. Now, what's great here is, especially for audio, it allows you to not only see and preview your media, but you can also loop playback your media and then drag it right into the timeline, right into the multitrack. So you'll see here again, this is kind of the standard tree view navigation pane that you see all the time. And if I go ahead and we've got a couple of buttons down here, you've got a play button, a loop button, and then an auto play. If you turn on auto play and loop, simply by selecting one of these clips, it'll begin playing like this. And again, this is very useful if you're trying to audition your media before you drag it into your project. No longer do you have to file open, bring it into the application, then listen to it, only to find out that it's not what you wanted. So this is just a really efficient way to work leveraging the media browser, which is, again, familiar to you if you've used many of the other applications in Production Premium. So after you bring your clips into the multitrack editor, it's very common to want to group them together. And now we offer very easy clip grouping inside of Audition CS6. So if I click and grab my Move tool here, and then I grab these clips, you'll see that these are all already grouped together. And if I simply right click on them and go to groups, you can see that they are in fact grouped. And then you have a couple of options here. You can suspend the group, you can remove the focus clip from the group, or you can even ungroup the selected clips. So let's just go ahead and un unselect or ungroup those for a moment and go over to our properties panel here. So this is where you can set sort of individual file properties. Now, to group something together, you simply drag select, right click, and group the clips. You'll also notice that in the Properties panel, you can group them from here just by turning it on. And then, of course, you have Group Colors. So again, from the Properties panel, we can change the color of the group. And this just makes it easier for you to work with grouped clips inside the multitrack. Once they're grouped, of course, and in the case of something like a clip time stretch, you'll see that when I grab the edge here, now it's globally stretching all of those grouped clips together. So you get new options once you start grouping, and it just makes it easier for you to move things around very effectively. Now, after you've worked with group clips, you might want to start fine-tuning some of the individual files in your group. And for this, we can go into the Edit view. Now, you've got two simultaneous views in Audition CS6, your multitrack view and your waveform view. Multitrack is fully non-destructive. Waveform view is destructive. But in both views, you have something called skip selection, which allows you to make a selection or make an edit point and literally play before the selection and after skipping the selected area altogether. Now this can be formed in the multi-track or the edit view. Let's take a look over at the edit view here where we have some music and some sound effects. I'll take that as a yes. I think we have some so basically I'm going to make a selection here. And now if I come down to my transport controls, you'll see that we actually have a specific transport button called skip selection. And if I turn on my loop playback and then hit play, what this is going to do is it's going to play the audio before the selection, play the audio after, and just keep looping that, eliminating that section in the middle so we can hear what that edit would actually sound like, like this. And based on that, I could select and drag the edges here to really fine tune that a bit better. You get the idea. So skip selection is really great if you're trying to audition, especially if you're working with uh, very rhythmic music or where you actually have very defined attack transients. To hear if you're going to introduce any kind of digital clicks or pops, this is absolutely an essential feature to work with. So back in the multitrack, though, again, so with this same clip, what if I'm making a selection now, and I want to eliminate everything that's to the left or right of that? So I don't want to skip the selection. I effectively want to trim to that time selection, eliminating everything else. Well, again, with that selection made, let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger here. I can make a selection on a clip. I can right click, and I can choose trim to time selection, and everything else goes away. And again, because this is being performed in the multitrack view, it's totally non-destructive. So you can continue to drag those edges out again, or you can simply undo it. It's always non-destructive inside the multitrack. Now, we already talked a little bit about the Properties panel. What's very cool about the Properties panel is that this actually allows you to perform actual direct editing without even touching the clips themselves. You can do a lot of this directly inside the Properties panel. So I've selected a clip down here, and you can see that I can actually adjust the clip start time simply by clicking and dragging on it. And if I do that, you'll notice inside the multitrack panel, the clip itself is actually moving. You can also adjust the clip duration. You can see that the right edge is adjusted simply by me dragging this clip duration slider. This is also where you'll access things like the basic settings. So again, if you want to implement a clip color, 
You can click on that here. We can change the color of the clip and it's automatically changed down below. You can do things like lock and time, loop and mute, and again add things like stretching where we have real-time clip stretching and rendered clip stretching right from within the properties panel. So a lot of flexibility and a lot of control right there just to allow you to work and move a bit more quickly inside the multi-track environment. Now beyond simple track adjustments, if we go back to the, to the waveform view, we also offer all different types of ways to work with markers and playlists. So let's go back to our files panel here where I'm going to pull up an audio file, again a music file, where we've got a bunch of markers. Now if we move over to the markers panel, I can set a couple of different marker ranges as well. So I'm going to set one here, I'll call this one marker 4, and set a range here, I'll call this marker 5. So again, you can of course always modify the start and end times or the durations of these simply by clicking and dragging on the text. You also have the ability to batch process these by selecting multiple markers and coming over here and saying to export audio of selected range to separate files. So again, this is where you can perform batch processes. You also have the option to take all of those markers and insert them into a new playlist with this button here. So if we pull up the playlist, we add them to the playlist, and now you have different options for how you want to play or perform these inside the playlist. You can modify the markers. And again, if you're working specifically with things like VoiceOver, it's a really fast and effective way to work. And if you're working off of one continuous file, you can set your markers, and then you can export out those marker sections using that batch process button directly from within the markers panel. Really simple, really easy. Now beyond markers and playlists and having the ability to actually batch process out to different files or multiple files, you also have all new file support for import and export directly within Audition CS6. So if I wanted to take this file here and export it to a different format, you can of course convert it or we can go file, export, file. You'll also notice that you have the option to export audio within range markers where now I can choose a host of different file formats that we didn't offer before. So really, whether you're working in broadcast or in radio or designing audio for video or designing audio for games or the web, it's never been easier to work with your audio, and for sure you can do it faster in Adobe Audition CS6.